You know what? You need to get a little bit higher. A little. A little higher. And a little bit here. Voilà. Bonjour. Au va? On y va? Allez. On y va. Bonjour everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new, my name is Louisa, you are watching Lulu, c'est la vie, and for today's video, I'm doing part 3 of my favorite product, Fair Curly Hair Product series, we are going to talk about leave-in conditioners and finishing sprays, okay, um, now keep in mind, I have fine wavy to curly hair and I'm more on the high porosity side of the spectrum, which means that my hair is dry, gets drier and drier as the day goes by. My hair has a hard time retaining the moisture and uh, I tend to lose it throughout the day and I tend to lose my curl definition, have more freeze and get a lot more volume, which I don't mind. I love the volume part of it. It's just that I'm lo also losing my curl definition and um, I get more freeze. So if you can't um, recognize yourself in this description of my hair type, um, the products that I'm about to show may work very well, will probably work very well for you. If you are on the other side of the spectrum where your hair has absolutely no problem retaining the moisture for the day um, and that you tend to get weighted down by products that has too much moisture and you tend to lose your volu vo volume and your hair tends to fall flat, you might want to go very light dosage with the product I'm about to show and even um, water them water them down. <laughs> Trying to pronounce English here, okay? <laughs> um, voila, so keep that in mind. Now before I get into the meat of this video, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you see yourself coming back for more of my videos, or it's just your first time here and you haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel yet, well, in that case, just watch this whole video and see if you like it and then subscribe to my channel. Yes, it helps me out a lot and uh, I thank you for it. Uh, now, for if you, uh, what's the other thing I was going to say? If you enjoy the content of this video, feel free to give me a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys enjoy the video and you know, to make more content like that for you guys. So it's very important. Now, if you think that the content of this video can help a friend in need, or if you like it so much that you think more people should know about this type of video, feel free to share it with your friends or on your social media. All right, my loves, with no further ado, let's get this video rocking, rocking, going, rolling, rolling. Let's roll. It's good. Let's do it. Let's roll. All right. So we're going to start with the multitasking products. The first product, and if you follow my channel, you know where I'm going. <laughs> I love, I love. Hey, listen, when you love, you love. And this video is about my favorite. So this is my favorite. Um, it's the Garnier Fructis One Minute Hair Mask. This product has been a staple on my channel since I discovered it about four years ago. You can use it as a conditioner and it gives you great slip and it helps you detangle your hair very nicely and gives you a nice moisture and it rinses off very easily. You can use it as a quick mask when you don't have time and God knows that I never have time, <laughs> that it's hard to make time sometimes, all the time, it's just hard. So when you have a mask that claims that it will rehydrate your hair within one minute, and honestly, it does a good job on a very short period of time. You can also use it as a leave-in conditioner. Now, this product composition is pretty good for a drugstore product. There is no silicone, no paraben, no artificial colors. It is a vegan formula and it is 90% biodegradable, which is great for our water and our planet. Also, the price point is super affordable. I'll put the price right here. I can't remember exactly. The smaller jars are like 30 bucks. I don't, I don't remember, but amazing. Again, I'll put the link to everything down below. Uh, affiliated links. So, of course, your girl's making a few crumbs out of them. Thank you for clicking on them. <laughs> but this is a staple, a go-to. I'll always come back. And every time I do a favorite Fine Wavy to Curly Hair product, video this is in there I think all the time most of the time okay my second product is also a multitasking product same 
type of product, right? But different brand, a higher end, a higher price point, but a better quality when it comes to the product composition. We have more organic product, um, more um, efficient product, I want to say. And so you have to you know pay for the quality this is what the bottle looks like it is the multitasking uh, conditioner I think is that how you call it yes multitasking conditioner so it's a three in one you can use it as a dip conditioner right um, you can use it as a regular conditioner a rinse out conditioner and you can use it as a live-in conditioner this product is very rich a little goes a long way especially for my low porosity girls out there you want to put a little bit on the second half or on whatever part of your hair that's damaged stay away from your roots it will weight your hair down the way i like to use this product is as a rinse out conditioner it has a nice slip and it really helps detangle your hair but also as a live-in conditioner so after I'm done uh, shampooing and conditioning my hair I rinse out all of the products my hair is completely clean and I apply a little bit of the multitasking conditioner from Curl Smith on the second half of my hair um, I make sure I work the product in with my um, detangling brush available in the description box and um, and then I get out the shower and then I apply the gel and I style my hair. Make sense? It is free of sulfate, paraben, silicone, mineral oil, and phthalates and DEA, which I don't remember what that is, but it's free of that too. Okay. <laughs> Next, we are moving into the regular living conditioners. The next, the one that I'm going to show you is the Not Your Mother's Natural Royal Honey and Kalahari Living Conditioner. Um, so, and I like to use the shampoo, the conditioner, and the live-in conditioner from this brand, but never at the same time, okay? So I will, if I use the shampoo and conditioner, I will not use the live-in conditioner, and vice versa. Now, why? Because this line, the, particularly the yellow one, tends to make my hair extremely soft which I love, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy it, but sometimes it's too soft and it kind of elongates my curls and uh, turn it more into a S shape rather than a, a curly coil. Um, and that's not always what I want. And also I tend to lose a lot of volume because it makes my hair so sleeky. Now it barely ever weights my hair down though, I have to say. I like to concentrate this product on the ends of my hair. I like to use this product on a day two, three or four to refresh my curls and I will water it down with water. Cause you know, water it down. It's pretty affordable. It is available in most drugstores and it is a very clean line of product. There is no sulfate, no silicone, no paraben, no dyes, no gluten, no phthalates, and it is 98% biodegradable. Thanks for the earth. <laughs> The next living conditioner is going to be from Bioterra. So, for my shampoo and my conditioner video, I talked about uh, Bioterra Ultra Repair line of product and how they're being discontinued. They're still being discontinued when I was trying to find the link uh, for the products online, I was not successful. So. I think it by the end of this year it's probably gonna be down done uh, but since I started I'm just gonna continue this live-in conditioner is from that same line ultra repair and um, it is free of carbon silicone and it is pretty affordable and it does amazing things to my hair this is what the bottle looks like now I don't know if you will be able to find the product but nonetheless for those those of you who are lucky and can find it this is amazing but it is very uh, hydrating very hydrating so again you need to keep it second half of your hair stay away from your roots or if you get close to your roots um, water it down as much as possible 
I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one because discontinued it is okay the next one from Biotera that is kind of like my substitute uh, is from their anti-freeze line of product it is their intense smoothing leave-in conditioner it locks out freeze for three days um, this is what the bottle looks like and it is available on their website it is available on Amazon I will leave the long the link down below I like to use this product on a day one. Um, I, I tend to use heavier, more hydrating products on day one because after shampooing, my hair kind of need to uh, get as much moisture as possible. Um, but for the two, three, or four, I mm, I would have to water it down a lot, unless my hair is really dry on the day two, three, or four and really needs the moisture. In which case, I will have to rewet my hair and I will use this and then I'll lock it in with some gel. Um, so it's it's a very hydrating product. Definitely uh, stay away from your roots or water it down when it comes to that, that part of your hair. Um, for my low porosity girls, uh, be aware, this is very hydrating. Um, so yeah, be careful. I think my water wasn't hot enough and my tea didn't really infuse. I feel like I'm drinking flavored water, warm flavored water more than I'm drinking tea. But anyways, <laughs> side note. Okay, next products are going to be my Kinky Curly line of products. This brand is just working for my hair type. Um, I never stopped using them from the first time I ever tried them is that is that correct english i don't know but you get the gist i tried them once and i never stopped from them so from there i adore this brand it works really well for my hair type they have a very clean composition um and they are quite affordable i mean you know you pay for the products you pay for the quality of the ingredients First, I'm gonna start with the leave-in conditioner. It's called Not Today, and this is what the bottle looks like. Again, everything is linked down below. Um, it's a go-to, it's, it's, it's a leave-in conditioner that I like to grab. This is not the most hydrating leave-in conditioner, but when you reach a point where your hair is balanced enough, there's not too much damage, and you know you, you don't need uh, as much uh, hydration like my low porosity girls are going to love this product it pairs very well with any gel <sighs> I just it's a no-brainer it's very easy it leaves my hair moisturized it leaves my hair bouncy it just works very well the ingredient list is very clean and organic actually the word organic is in there several times the first ingredient is organic mango fruit extract the second is organic slippery elm. The third is organic marshmallow roots. Then we get organic lemongrass. Then we finally get the cetyl alcohol. I love this product as a regular live-in conditioner. It's a grab and go for me, you know? It's a no-brainer. The second one from the line that I really like and I like to use it as a finish spray or a refresh on a day two, three or four. Uh, it's the spiral spritz. This is the bottle. It's almost empty and uh, Again, I will link it down below The ingredient list is really good. We've got a lavender water extract of horse putain, yellow and yellow uh, Kiki curly hello Horsetail nettles and sage aloe vera gel, which is where the hold comes from a vitamin B5 glycerin citric acid anti uh, and grapefruit seed extract i love grapefruit seed extract i think this is where the preservative comes from i'm not sure i'm not a bio whatever but this gives me a little bit of hold a little bit of moisture help me reshape my curls tamp down the freeze uh, i love it so highly recommend to refresh your hair uh, midday or to completely restyle your hair on the day two, three or four. Okay, the last two products that I'm going to show you are from JC Curls. Uh, we've got the Rocking, Rocking Wrinklet, this one right here. I'm going to start talking about that one first. Okay, the Rocking Wrinklet is, it's a very concentrated live-in conditioner. Kind of like, 
a potion <laughs> oh it's this potion it's a styling potion it is there's no water in this it's only products the composition of this potion is amazing let me read it to you real quick we've got flaxseed extract okay that's the first ingredient then we have glycerin jojoba seed oil aloe vera leaf juice uh, lavender flower oil We've got switch orange peel oil expressed, um, grapefruit peel oil, and then after that we've got, you know, the benzoic acid, the stuff to preserve. It is a potion. When you look at the color of the product, it's like a deep brown. Let me see if I can show you real quick. Focus, focus, thank you. See, this is, this is what it looks like okay it's very liquidy it's very dark brown and personally i like to concentrate the product on the second half of my hair because i already have enough product this is actually what i put in my hair today today's a day one and after i came out the shower i applied this product actually under the shower i applied is that the one? Yes. Under the shower, I applied my um, Curlsmith Multitask and Conditioner, right? I left a little bit on my hair. I got out the shower. I towel dry my hair with my favorite microfiber towel. Link in the description box. And then I apply my JC Curl Rocking Ringlet on the, mostly the second half of my hair. And I really worked the product in my hair. High porosity girl, in case you forgot. <laughs> My hair follicle, my hair shafts are always open. Um, the way I apply the product, I kind of like close everything. I kind of massage the product into my hair so that my hair follicle kind of closes, keep this moisture in. Then I apply my gel, then I diffuse my hair. So um, all that to say that this rocking ringlet works very well on a day one after I shampooed and conditioned my hair. It works really well to replenish my hair with the moisture that it needs. The ingredient list is so good that I feel like it kind of heal my hair. I know, it, but in my mind, in my imagination, I like to believe that the product actually heals my hair. And in, you know, it visually it makes my hair look very healthy and shiny. And I love that. Uh, I would not use this on a day two unless my hair is extremely dry on a day two and I really need to give something or else it's gonna just fall off <laughs> which right now we're in mid-January uh, happens a lot okay but I much rather go for something a little bit lighter uh, which is the Gelibration Spray from Kinky Curly. This is what the bottle looks like. Again, everything will be linked in the description box. Now, the Gelibration Spray is my go-to for a day two, three, or four to reshape my curls. Um, and it is also a, a product that I like to use for a quick refresh midday. You know, if I find myself having a lot of frizz on, up there, I will go to chit chit, chit chit, and chit chit. Okay, this is pretty much all I'll do. Again, the composition is very similar to this, except that this one has water. That's the first ingredient. Then we get the flaxseed, then we get the jojoba, the aloe vera. So it's very similar, but this is more of a, I wanna say a watered down version of that with a little bit more hold, a little less hydration. I am a lot more confident applying this on the roots of my hair. Okay, I'm done, you guys. This is this is pretty much my go-to live-in conditioners and finishing sprays after trying a whole bunch of product for the past four and, and a half years on this channel. Now, keep in mind, I have not tried all the products out there, and I don't want to say I'm done trying product, but at this point, I have a good range of products that I like to use. Um, I think for for high porosity, fine with the curly hair, live-in conditioners are a big deal. And once you find your favorite live-in conditioners, you know, I feel like it's everything else can kind of rotate, but the live-in conditioners in my book, they either make or break 
your hairstyle okay if it's too heavy it will weight your hair down if it's not hydrating enough it will fluff your hair up and you will lose your definition in your hold and it's not a good scenario either so once you find that right live-in conditioner or once you have a panel of a few live-in conditions that you know you can work with and that will give good results to your hair stick with them make sure you rotate make sure that you use the right live-in conditioner for your hair need your hair's need my hair does not need the same amount of moisture every day okay for example today i washed my hair with shampoo it took out all of the sebum all of the excess product it was needed but it kind of leaves my hair deprived of uh, of 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 moisture so I have to replenish my hair with that moisture and on top of that the weather is really dry I'm at the time of the year where there's zero moisture in the atmosphere so there's nothing for my hair to grab onto so I'm gonna go for products that have what I need that have the moisture that I need for my hair I know not to apply too much of that product on my roots because I like to have that natural volume popping and one thing my hair has is volume okay I may not have a crazy density but volume I have volume all right so I hope this video was helpful I hope that there are some products in there that you will be able to try and that will work for your hairstyle for your hair type so don't forget to leave in the comment section your favorite live-in conditioner and when you like to use them and how you like to use them uh, the next video will be about the gels so I will see you guys next week with a new video. Until then, my love, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Stay happy and healthy. Have a beautiful life. Au revoir. Et à bientôt. <laughs> hey, c'est la vie. <laughs>